1942, they would trade with us. They would set up trading ports in cities like Dublin and Waterford. And the Romans would trade with us as well. Now, the Romans had been, you know, chasing them out of Europe, and then they ended up trading with us because they found Roman coins and evidence of trade here in Wicklow Mountains. And of course, the Italians being very liberal with their undergarments, they did not stay here too long because it was too cold for them. And they gave the island of Ireland the name Hibernia, which means the land of constant winter. So as that society progresses, like I said, it's a pagan society. We worship many different gods. The main god is the sun god. You might ask yourself, why in Ireland would you worship the sun when you see it four times a year? There's a thing called blind faith and eternal optimism, and we have that in abundance. So there are pagan people, sun god, the main god, there's many other gods as well. But with this, the druids become very important in society because they are the shaman and the preachers. And then we have the philly as well, the philly traveling poets, musicians, music becoming very important in the society. And also as well, they're very important because they begin the first oral history of Ireland. They start telling the stories, the legends, and passing that down to generations. So the Vikings have a habit of raiding Britain. They are involved in the slave trade and they bring a lot of slaves here to Ireland. Now, a group come from Wales after they capture them. They land them in Dublin and with that they're sold into slavery and they're a group of boys. One of them, his name is Patrick. Now, he's sold into slavery the north, up to the north of the island. He becomes a shepherd, a sheep farmer. And with this then, he has heard of Christianity because he's a pagan like everyone else in these islands. But Christianity now at this point has existed for about 150 years in Europe. And he decides to try his luck, pray to this new god, and see what happens. So, as the story goes, he's praying, he gets this vision, the vision tells him to go down to the coastline on a particular night, there will be a boat there to take him back to Wales. He goes down.